Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to the beautiful world of Windenburg for part one of my Get Together Let's Play. In this Let's Play, we'll be following a sim named Maya Fox as she moves to Windenburg for a fresh start. Maya is one of the sims from my Get to Work Let's Play, and there were a few events in her life that led to her moving to Windenburg. Growing up, she was an ambitious and creative child who got straight A's all throughout school, unlike her siblings who struggled a bit with their grades. However, as she grew older, her personality began to change. The once perfect girl who could never do any wrong began to resent the commitments people normally make, such as having a job, settling down in one place, or choosing one person to spend the rest of their life with. During high school, Maya began dating a guy named Robert. As high school neared an end, she also found herself developing feelings for her friend Thomas while still with Robert. For a while, she strung Thomas along, telling him she was trying to decide whether she wanted to stay with Robert, who she'd begun to drift apart from or move on from Robert with him. After much deliberation, Maya decided that she would lie to Thomas, telling him that she had broken up with Robert and had chosen him, so she could try to date both of them at the same time. It wasn't long before the truth came out, resulting in both Robert and Thomas breaking up with her in one night. After news of her actions spread throughout her family, her father let her know just how disappointed he was in her over this, as well as some of her other recent behaviors, such as refusing to get a job after high school. Maya's stepmother also made sure to lecture her about how wrong what she did was, and on top of that, her brother and sister who were also really upset with her since they were played by Don Lothario in a somewhat similar manner. Once a golden child, Maya now felt as though she was a black sheep of her family. Heartbroken from the double breakup and feeling cast off by her family, Maya made the snap decision to pack up everything she could fit into her backpack and leave in the middle of the night. With so many relationships damaged, she felt a fresh start was what she really needed. She ended up in Windenburg, and upon arriving had no clue where to go. But fortunately, she came across a notice on a board in a local pub saying that someone was in need of a roommate. And that is how Maya came to live with these two sims, who I will introduce shortly. There was more that happened that drove her to leave for Windenburg, but it would take too long to go over everything that happened in my Get to Work Let's Play, so I just want to say enough so that those of you who haven't seen that Let's Play would get the gist of why she left. I definitely will go over more details of what happened that caused her to leave, as well as some other things that happened in that Let's Play, as we get further into this one. I do need to show her traits really quickly though. So since she is a sim I've been playing since childhood, she does have some reward traits, she also has some skills built up and such, which I really like, because usually at the beginning of the Let's Plays, the sims have no skills or anything, so it's kind of cool to start out with a sim who's already pretty developed. But anyway, her first trait, and the most important trait that she has, is non-committal. This is what led her to cheat on her boyfriend, this is also why she doesn't really want to do the regular old having a 9 to 5 job kind of a thing. So as far as making money, I think I'm going to have her just do freelance photography, like take photos and then sell them, that sort of a thing. She might eventually have to get an actual job though, uh, we'll see what happens in the future. She's also outgoing, she's just a very social sim who loves being around people, so I think she'll really enjoy being part of some clubs. And then she's also goofball, she's very silly, uh, The she also has the incredibly friendly trait which is a reward trait, so this makes it so she becomes friends right off the bat with people as soon as she meets them. And then she's also marketable, and then she also has creatively gifted, which was a reward trait from completing her childhood aspiration. And then lastly, we have the gregarious trait, which is from her aspiration. And then as far as her aspiration goes, she has the friend of the world one, and she is almost complete with it. She's on the last milestone here, so once she finishes that, we'll have to pick out something else for her. Maya actually just got done settling into her new home, and it's only been about a week or so since she left. So she really hasn't gotten to know her roommates that well, and starting off, we won't know much about them either, but as time goes on, we'll get to learn more and more about them. She only knows that they're fairly new to Windenburg also, and little bits about them, like their interests and such. The first roommate over here is named Amanda Christopoulos, and she was the first sim to move into this house. She came to Windenburg, found this house, rented it out, of course she couldn't afford it on her own, so she put up a posting saying that she was in need of some roommates, and Charlotte came along, and then a little later after that, Maya came along. She told Maya that she came to Windenburg because she always felt like her hometown was very boring and just wanted more excitement in her life. And she heard that Windenburg was a place to be in, that it had a great nightlife and all, so that's where she decided to head off to when she wanted to get out on her own. 
Amanda also seems to be very materialistic and obsessed with wealth and status. And that's really all that Maya knows about her so far, but I do want to show her traits really quickly. So she has the insider trait, which is a new one that came with Get Together. So these sims love being in clubs and tend to be the happiest when they are surrounded by their friends. She's also jealous. I haven't done a whole lot with this trait, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to give one of these sims that one. And then she is, of course, materialistic, and she has the business savvy trait from her aspiration. And then she does have the fabulously wealthy aspiration, although this one's pretty difficult to do. It takes a while to earn enough money to get get through the different milestones. So I might have to switch to something else and then come back to this one. We'll see what happens. But as far as her job goes, I did want to have her join the business career, so I'm actually just going to get on having her do that really, really quickly. And then I'll move on to discussing Charlotte. Alright, there we go, we got that. So we'll just go ahead and have her join the business one. Alright, so she starts Monday. Oh cool, she has a weekend off, that's awesome. Alright, so that's enough about Amanda, so heading over here to Charlotte. She told Mai that she moved to Windenburg because she's an aspiring DJ and dancer and heard that Windenburg was a great place for up and coming DJs. She's also really interested in playing the guitar and she's also got an interest in playing video games as well. So moving on to her traits, she has the geek trait. I'm thinking she could form some kind of club around that, like a gaming club or something like that. She's also a music lover as well as a dance machine, which is another new trait that came with Get Together. And then she does have the gregarious trait from her aspiration, which is actually the new one that came with Get Together, the leader of the pack one. I of course had to give one of these sims that one. I also forgot to pick out a job for her, so as far as she goes, I wanted to have her get into the music career since she does have a love for playing the guitar. Oh right, right, entertainer. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. She's of course gonna go into the music branch of that. Uh, so that's all the introduction of these sims that I really needed to do. I'm glad we're past that. I can move on to other things. Although I should probably give a quick tour of their house first. I did make this house and I put up a speed build of it. So I'll put a link to that in the description in case any of you are interested in watching that and didn't get a chance to see it. I'll just give a quick tour of the house anyway. So this is of course the main area. You kind of tell what's here without me having to point it out. And then down in the basement, this is pretty much Charlotte's space, so she has her bedroom in here. And then she also has her own little DJ booth down here, so that's kind of cool that she has her own space outside of her room. And then upstairs we have the bathroom for the house, as well as Amanda and Maya's bedrooms. Right here we have Maya's bedroom. She of course got the smallest bedroom since she was the last person moving into the house. I did hang up some of the pictures that she's taken of her family on her wall so that she could look at them, because uh, she does miss her family. But she really doesn't want to have to explain her reasons for moving away at this time. So she hasn't really gone back into contact with them yet. And then here's Amanda's bedroom. There's really not a whole lot in it. Just a bed, wardrobe, and decoration here. That's all the introductory stuff that I had to do. So what I want to do now was have these three go somewhere out in the world together so they can hang out, get to know each other a little bit better. And I was also thinking that later on we could have Maya try to join her first club. She is the main sim after all, so I think she should be the first to get into a club. So I'm really excited for that. It does seem like they're getting along really well though. And Charlotte moved in not that long before Maya, so she doesn't really know Amanda that well either. But I'm just gonna get on having them go out somewhere. So, uh, okay, so I guess it's just travel in general. So there's no traveler to travel with, and as you can see, um, so I'll have to explain later on why she's enemies with this girl, but I don't really want to go into that whole story right now. She was basically the one responsible for Maya getting caught cheating, and then here are the two um, ex-boyfriends that she has. But anyway, we're gonna have her travel with her two housemates. Okay, where do we want these three to go? There's so many- the thing I really like about this world is that there's so many- places to explore and check out because in all the other worlds you have one of each kind of law type maybe but in this one there's multiple of each and it's just I just think that's really cool I'm thinking that since it's the afternoon we should have them go to a cafe I think that'd be a pretty cool place to go I've already seen a bit of this one so I'm gonna have them go to the South, South Square coffee the three of them just arrived and I really like this whole square type area I just think it's really 
really beautiful. Yeah, like this whole area over here is just, it's just gorgeous. Like this whole world is definitely a huge step above the other ones that are in this game so far. Got some pigeons over here, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with them, though. They're just decoration. But um, let's go back over here to see what they're all doing at the cafe. It looks like we have a bunch of other people here already. We'll have to have them introduce themselves to them, but it looks like they're all getting food, so hopefully they'll all sit together since they're in a group gathering. Nope, she's just going to go all the way over here. Oh, that's nice. At least Charlotte's sitting with the two of them. Or, I mean, um, Charlotte's over here sitting with Maya. I'm really looking forward to seeing how their relationships develop because while everything's all good between them right now, I don't know if it's going to stay that way as their lives intertwine more. Oh, I haven't changed um, any of Maya's outfits. Yeah, but she is just settling in, so she hasn't gotten time to get a new wardrobe or anything like that. But I think it would be kind of cool if maybe we had her two roommates help pick out some new outfits for her. Like, they could go to the walk-in wardrobe, help her pick out some new outfits that are kind of influenced by both of their styles. I think it could be kind of cool to give Maya an all-new style, but I'm not sure what kind of style I would want to go with for her. I think there, there are some new interactions that came with Get Together, but I haven't really check them out that much so I'm looking forward to seeing those as well like there's just so much I'm looking forward to seeing with this expansion pack and I just can't wait to dig in oh are you coming over to join us yay they're all together that's awesome okay so we can discuss latest games with her I think Charlotte would definitely appreciate that who are you Yuki cool so we have her coming over here and she's currently oh the avant guards are currently gathering that's cool uh, maybe we could have one of them join that group, like maybe Charlotte. I get to know. You know, let's have her introduce herself to Yuki here, and then she'll become friends with her right off the bat, which is cool. Oh, what is... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here with these two. It looks like they're not getting along very well. Uh, so let's see who we have here. We have... I think, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. I think it's Micah or something like that. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not butchering that name. Um, oh cool, Maya's learning all about Charlotte. That's kind of cool that group gatherings happen even when you're not a part of that group. I really like that, I didn't realize that that was a thing. I just want to check out this place a little bit more. So we have some more of the, um, the avant-garde out here. Oh hey, her name's Maya, although it's spelled a little bit differently. That's kind of cool, there's someone else with her name. Oh, we've got more over here, like, um, I guess like some gathering areas. It's kind of neat, I don't think there's a second... Okay, no, there's nothing up on the second floor. It's just kind of a dummy level. Oh, are you friends with her? I guess she's friends with, um... Yeah, she's already friends with her. Oh, where did Charlotte... Are you getting... Oh, she's getting some coffee. That's cool. Don't buy too much, though, because we're kind of broke, and I don't want them to spend all their money buying stuff here at this cafe. Uh, let's see. Perfect pre-work shot. Oh, that's cool. You know what? I should actually pick out some stuff because I haven't really checked out what all they can get from this yet. So let's see. Ordered food. Uh, we could do four here, two go. We have cannoli, scones, or pan au chocolate, croissants. And then let's see what drinks we have. What should we have or get? Uh, I'm just going to go with the cheapest one because we're a little bit strapped for cash. Ew, okay. Uh, I don't know if we want to drink coffee from that anymore. It's looking a little gross. Uh, what are you doing over here, Charlotte? Miss Stevie Fleena. That's cool. She oh, okay, never mind. This is not going very well. I don't know what this guy's doing to her, but she does not seem very impressed with him. Oh, and then now he's flirty. I I don't know what's going on here. Oh, we also have this from her drinks. Let's see. Nothing like a perfect shot of espresso to get ready for a day of work. Oh, that's cool. And then we have Amanda over here. So yeah, let's actually have her talk to Amanda because she hasn't really talked to her too much. She's mainly been talking to Charlotte. Uh, so we'll ever do whatever I just clicked on. Get to know her a little bit. Definitely want to get to know her. And let's have her... Let's have her flatter her. And uh, what else? Talk about cooking. I also wanted to see what she has down here. So she wants to be mischievous. Light a bonfire. Ooh, we'll definitely have to uh, explore the whole, like, have them go to a bonfire eventually. Uh, maybe in the next part or something like that. I just feel like there's so much I want to do. And then order food at the espresso bar. Uh, are you even... No, she's not even hungry. I'm not going to have her waste her money on food. 
Did Amanda's- wait, how did what she get the cook- whoa, is she reading the cook- wait, no. I don't know how that happened, she? she's not even- cook Oh, maybe it's from talking about cooking. I guess I can actually gain the skill from that. I did not know they could gain skills from that. Uh, I don't know, what is- actually, what is Maya going off to do? I don't even know what she's doing. Hey, let's have these two chat a little bit. She can complain about her love life. Uh, let's have her do that. Because she's uh, I, that is from the jealous train, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I guess she could just talk about her lack of having a significant other to her. I guess she's a good listener. Uh, we could also have her brag about possessions. Uh, give a heartfelt compliment. And then tell a joke about monkeys. I do want to have Maya leave sometime soon to try to get into one of the existing clubs. Just because I really wanted to get into the whole club thing in this part. Uh, yo, let's get Bayou back over here to talk to your roommates. Uh, I don't know if there's any, like, we could do any of the- Oh, ask to see Alfred, that's cool. That's neat. Yeah, let's try that out. Let's ask to see her everyday wear outfit. Although she's already in it, but she does have multiple everyday wear outfits, so... Maybe she'll change into one of her other ones so that she can see that. Is she gonna do that? There we go. So I think that was her fourth everyday wear outfit. I did give both of these girls four everyday wear outfits. Just because there are so many awesome clothes that came with this expansion pack that I just wanted to use a whole bunch of them. I guess, uh, I guess around seven. Oh, we're getting a little close there. Uh, I guess around seven I'll have her leave and try to join a club. Let's see if we ever talk about cooking again. It looks like she's already... I don't think she's quite friends with them yet. But it looks like she's actually getting... No, well, she's getting there. Maya's definitely a very charming sim, so she makes friends very quickly. Uh, she could just be a bit of a um, jerk at times, is all, like, once you really get to know her. Um, and the thing I like about her is that she's not... Like, usually when I have sims and Let's Plays, they're all likable and they do good stuff. But I like that Maya is a mix of good and bad. Like, she has some good qualities, but she also just does some really awful things, like the whole cheating thing. It is 7 though, so I wanted to have her end this gathering and try to get in one of the clubs. I do want to have them all make clubs eventually, but for now I just want to join the existing ones, and then once I get to know the whole club system a little bit better, I'll try out having them make some clubs. But uh, what club do we want her to join? Uh, I don't... I don't think the avant-garde would really be her thing. Uh, not the garden gnomes. Uh, I don't. I want to have Amanda join the Paragons, but yeah, I don't think that that's really the group I want to have her join. I was thinking that Party House would be a good a good one for her to join, uh, just because she she has a bit into partying. She really likes being around fun-loving people. So I think that would be the best of these groups for her to join. Uh, oh, I was thinking in the next part we could have Charlotte work on joining the Spin Masters. And then maybe after a little bit she could leave them and then start her own dance group. Yeah, I'm going to have her go ahead and try to join the party house group. So we can see the details here. Uh, let's see, the activities are drink bar drinks, dance, and be romantic with everyone. Yeah, I think that's definitely her kind of club because she has a bit of a flirt. Um, so there might be some like-minded people in this club who aren't really looking for a serious relationship. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have her go ahead and apply for an invite. Let's see. Hi Maya, I heard you were interested in joining Party House. Come hang out with us, and if you impress us, you could ask to us to apply. Alright, yeah, we'll have her be right there. We just arrived here at Narwhal Arms, which is, I believe, the nightclub that was in sort of the old town square type area. So let's see. Maya should make good first impression on the Party House. Who are gathering, she should socialize with the club members and ask to apply to Party House if things go well. Alright, cool. <laughs> this should be interesting, so I'm just gonna get on having her introduce herself to everyone. Ooh, let's have her give a let's have her give a flirty introduction to him since uh, they are supposed to flirt with each other. And he he is pretty cute. Okay, so let's see. He seems cool with that. And then with that they are both friends. Oh, never mind. Okay, that was an awkward oh. Oh, I think it's because of this kid that was an awkward encounter. What is this kid even doing in this group? Um, but yeah, she already made a friend right off the bat. Uh, I guess we can have her talk to him a little bit more. Let's see, tell a gauging story. I want to see if there are some other um, new things that we can do. So, oh, so we have the other Sims thing. So she could talk up another Sim, hook up with. Oh, so I think that she could get him to hook up with other sims. Oh, that's cool. So you could like set set people up, like play matchmaker. 
Uh, let's see, apply to... Oh wait, what am I doing? Um, clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, and then they can ask about another sim. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's have her compliment his outfit. And then I should definitely have her go inside and talk to the others. So yeah, I'm gonna have her do that. I don't want her to spend all of her time here outside talking to this guy. Right, so let's see, who were the... Okay, so she's the group leader. We should definitely talk to her some. Uh, you know, let's just do another flirty introduction with her. Why not? And, uh, oh boy. There is one of her exes and her sister Kim. Okay, then. Uh, I wasn't really expecting her to run into one of her family members in the first part. She doesn't feel quite ready to talk to her family because she knows that what she did, just like packing up and leaving in the middle of the night, was sort of drastic and maybe not the best thing to do. And she's just worried that her family absolutely hates her, just doesn't really want to deal with potentially being yelled at by Kim. Um, so she's just going to kind of ignore her for a little bit. Maybe eventually she'll go up to her and say something or wait to see if Kim approaches her. Let's see, uh, we can have her... I don't know if we want to do April Shilly Pestle. Let's have her... Oh, wait, no, she was getting kind of playful before, so maybe we shouldn't have her do um, tell a funny story. She should probably stay away from that. Oh, let's have her talk about Party House. And is her sister... I don't know if her sister is still here. Maybe she left? Oh, never mind, she's still right over there. Um, she is her sister, after all, so I feel like she should go up to her at some point and say hi to her. I'm not sure about Thomas, though. I don't think he's really too happy to see her after what... Uh, oh, what was this? Oh, that's from talking about Party House. Uh, but yeah, I don't think he's really too happy to see her being kind of flirty with other people not that long after they broke up. But I suppose we should have her go over here and say hi to her sister so they at least... So at least her family will know that she's okay. She's kind of worried that her sister is going to be really mad at her. Um, so I'm going to just ask her about her day, I guess. Uh, oh, look at that dancing. <laughs> okay, so she's going up to her say hi, and uh, Kim will definitely be very happy to see her. She's not really she's not really mad at her. Like She was upset with her for what she did, but she definitely didn't hate her sister over it. Maya's just a little bit overdramatic at times. I thought her whole family just absolutely hated her for what she did. Alright, so what are you doing? You're talking to her? Okay, cool. Um... So yeah, I guess Kim's just letting her know that they were all worried sick about her. But we can eventually have her go back home and speak to her father again. Um, he's probably gonna lecture her once she uh, once he sees her again. She doesn't quite want to deal with that right yet. But anyway, I think that's enough talking to her sister. They're all caught up in stuff now. So I'm gonna have her get back to talking to the other members of the Party House Club. Um, so let's just... Uh, let's have her introduce herself to this Sim, who is Eva Cap- I guess it's Capra- Capricosha? I'm not really- I'm not really sure on that one. Uh, who else? There were some other members, I'm not sure- What is this guy doing? He's just like right in the DJ booth. <laughs> oh, we haven't introduced ourselves to- to him yet. Uh, oh, I like how they wave their cell phone, that's so cool. Uh, but let's have her also introduce herself to him as well. Okay, cool. I think um, I think now we might actually be able to have her... Uh, I think maybe we can have her ask to join it. Uh, oh, why is she... I swear it's just, why is she losing so many friends? I don't know what's going on. Um, well, I guess let's have her ask if she can join the club now. Um, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, she was a club leader. So, let's see, how do we, how do we do this? Oh, I think we go to clubs. Yeah, play to club, play to party house. Alright, there we go. She is friends with her, so hopefully she'll say that she can join it. Alright, let's see if this works and I actually let her into the club. So I guess she's... I guess she's asking now... Oh, nice! Maya was accepted into Party House. Sweet, so she's now actually a part of this club. Uh, let's have her discuss feelings. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, she's just doing a flirty introduction on her own. That's so cool. You know what? I actually want to have her try doing some dancing, because while Charlotte's going to be our main dancing sim, I do want to actually have Amanda and Maya pick up the skill a bit, too. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's cool to see so many people. I uh, wasn't expecting to run into these. Oh, there's Elf! Oh, why is he out in his alien form? Should probably uh, be in your disguise, dude. 
Um, this is actually Kim's boyfriend. I guess he came out here with her. Okay, so we'll just have her do some... Oh, they could do dance battles. That's so cool. I don't know if I want to ever do... We could ever do a dance battle. Uh, we also had a dance together, dance, show off moves. So she just has arm charm. I see this before. It's just like a voguing kind of a thing. Yeah, you know, let's have her dance battle. Why not? Oh, let's have her do it with this Marcus Flex guy. Yeah, we'll have her do a dance battle with him as soon as she's done in the bathroom. Oh, look at look at Elf's moves. Oh, I see we got Thomas dancing over here. He's actually not that bad. Definitely better than uh, her. <laughs> she's not very good either. Okay, well, dance battles with him don't really seem to be working right, so we could just try it with someone else. And then if that doesn't work, I'll just have her just kind of dance on her own. Yay, it's actually working now! Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna... let's... Let's do this so we can actually see what's going on. Nice, she's doing that arm charm move. She's not really doing too poorly. And then I guess now she's gonna go do her thing. Are you? Oh no, she's still um, she's still dancing. Actually, let me get around to where we can actually see her from the front. It'll be really cool once they get some more dance moves other than this one. Okay, I like this angle. That's definitely a better one. Oh no, she's still going. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, she is. Oh, she has got Maya beat. She is, <laughs> she is way better than her. Um, I think she definitely won that dance battle. Oh no, nope, she's still not done. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm excited to see what other kinds of dances they can do. Okay, I guess that's um, I guess that's just about over. Let's see. Uh, oh, she wants to dance to the DJ performance. Let's do that. Let's have her dance to that. Uh, I guess she's just gonna. Dance like old them are. Oh, I guess the da okay. There we go. Now the dance battle's over. All right, so we can just have her dance with that. Okay, yeah, she's not. Oh, she discovered that Elf is a Morksa. Elf, Mor Elf is a Morksa. She discovered that Elf Morskum is an alien. Uh, really, it took you that long to figure that one out. Uh, yeah, let's have her. We can have her get back. Ooh, let's have her do that swab kiss. So we can actually have her do some of the flirting, which uh, is a part of being in this group. Um, so we'll just have her flirt with Marcus, and then, um, ooh, okay. ooh. <laughs> what else do we have to do? Uh, let's have her call him at his appearance. She is friends with him, so there shouldn't be any issues with her flirting with him. Uh, ooh, let's try a bold pickup line. I don't know if I want to actually have her try to get into a relationship with this guy. Um, I don't think that whole thing that happened with Robert and Thomas, I don't think like she really learned her lesson from that. I think she's just going to be a little bit more discreet in the future, or uh, just have feelings more so than trying to get into the relationships. Uh, but it seems like these two are definitely hitting it off, so you all can let me know what you think should happen with these two. Uh, let's see, uh, I have hold hands too. Uh, what is this? Uh, watch dancer. Oh, what's going? Wait, what's going on out here? Oh, she's just. Oh, whoa! 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 That is so cool. Wow. Okay, she's a really good dancer. Oh, that's awesome. She's like putting on a show for everyone. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, uh, let's let's have these two kiss. Why not? She's feeling. Oh, she's actually not feeling flirty right now, but he he is. Probably should ever go home soon though, because she is pretty tired. Uh, but let's have her flirt. Oh wait, she actually is a little bit flirty. What is this? Uh, hot. Ooh, hot and heavy. <laughs> I wonder if there's um like what else there is that they could. Oh, we should probably ask if single. Um, I don't know if she really cares anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, nice! He's single. She's getting really, really tired, so I should probably have her head on home soon. Oh, they can exchange numbers. That's definitely um, a really cool touch. So we're gonna have her do that. She hit it off with this guy, so she's gonna ask him for. Oh, did she just kiss the phone? <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna exchange numbers. I guess they can keep in touch later. And I'm actually gonna have her go on home and end this part here. So I'm really looking forward to getting more into this Let's Play, and I hope you'll enjoy this first part. Thanks for watching, and bye!